YouTube. Welcome to Geek. Shh. All right, so today we're going to be doing a transcode test on the NVIDIA Quadro T400. This is a single slot GPU. On the screen, you'll see all the pertinent information that you might be interested in. And without wasting any time, let's go ahead and get straight into the 4K transcode test on T400. So here we got right here. Let's go ahead and push this to T400. We have hardware enabled. And I'm just going to... I'm gonna disable HDR tone mapping so it doesn't, uh, you know, change nothing about the results, but this can do HDR tone mapping. And at, at the outro, I'm gonna let you know um, the results I got when I did the HDR tone mapping because it basically gave the same results, to be honest truth. So. so let's go ahead and get things started up. Let's check in with the system first before we start. Here go all my uh, 4K movies, the same ones from each video. It's going to be the same exact files, the same ones. So here we have uh, the system right here. You know, we had 4,000 uh, memory being used, um, four gigs of memory being used. And then over here we have 9.4 CPU usage. The iGPU is doing nothing right here because we're not utilizing that. The T400. You see uh, the GPU watts that it's taking up right now. Then you see it's not doing nothing currently at the moment. And here's the UPS load with nothing going on. 45 watts, that's what we're around. So let's go ahead and get started up. First movie, y'all already know, Glory, classic. Shh. Come on now. Denzel Washington crying, man. Y'all know it's the same thing every time, man. Let's get it, man. Denzel Washington crying. You can't go wrong with this movie right here. This is an instant classic from back in the day. Morgan Freeman, Matthew Broderick. How can we lose? So we definitely going to go ahead and push that to 720p. Push and P, you already know. All right, let's go ahead and get that converted over down to 720p. Okay, look like that went through. Um, this one, let me put this to the dashboard. All right. So not really showing transcoding right now. Okay, there we go. Shows the transcoding. All right, cool. So that's the first one that we have up. Let's check in with the system. All right, still hovering around 4.5. So this went up a little bit. You know, it has to uh, transcode the audio, I believe. And uh, IGPU is doing nothing. And right here, the GPU, we still around 19 watts. That's cool. So we doing around 35% decoding and well, they're basically just jumping around. All right, everything jumping around. So UPS load, we went up to 54 watts. That's all good. So let's get to the next movie. We got a while to go. Let's go with the six cents. All right, let me go and stop that. So let's go with the six cents classic movie, man. Bruce Willis, man, keep Bruce Willis in your prayers. He going through a few things, medical complications, but this is definitely one of the classics that Bruce Willis gave you. Back in the day in the 90s, Bruce Willis was definitely a huge star. Can't sleep on Bruce Willis at all. He had a lot of good movies. So this is definitely one of them. This is probably like his biggest film, you know, as far as uh, commercial success, I believe. Don't quote me on that. So we went ahead and pushed it to 720 um let's go to the dashboard all right there so we got two going on right now let's do uh one more and then we're gonna check back in with the system so we got hocus pocus two right here hocus pocus one was definitely one of my favorite movies when i was a kid i still ain't watched this one sarah jessica parker if you haven't seen the movie with sarah jessica parker and bruce willis it's called striking distance that's definitely one of the good ones that Bruce Willis did back in the 90s. So definitely two legends. I still didn't watch this one, but like I said, part one was definitely a classic for me when I was a kid. So let's go ahead and push this 720p. All right, let's not waste no time there. I try to wait till like the 15 second mark, even though I don't even think you gotta do it. Um, if y'all saw one of my older videos where you really had to wait to 15 seconds before you pushed it through. So there it go right there, 720p, all right. Focus, focus. So we, right now we transcoding three 4K movies at the moment. So let's check back in with the system. All right. So it's jumping up now. So 
is definitely jumping up. We jumped up 5.3 gigs of RAM being utilized. Uh, total CPU usage, not much, hovering around 10% because it's not doing nothing. The iGPU is doing absolutely nothing. It's at 0%. And we jumping up to about 22 watts. And this is jumping around like crazy as well. And the UPS load, we are around 60 watts. So cool. So three, we got going. Make sure y'all pay attention to these icons up here. If one of them go away, you already know. That's it. So Home Alone, come on now. Classic movie, Macaulay Culkin, man. Legend. Not even uh just Macaulay Culkin, my man. Uh who's the who's the short guy, man? I can't remember his name, but you know, he was in all type of movies. That man had a very luxurious career, man, from casino to good fellas he really showed his range when he was doing these movies so that we pushed that to 720p cool let's check that out so right now we got four going let's do one more and then we're going to check back in with the system i can't remember the guy name i want to say danny devito but i know it's not danny devito danny devito is the other short guy i can't remember his name though so here we go with respect r-e-s-p-e-c-t with this Aretha Franklin movie wasn't really all that to tell you the honest truth man it was just something to watch I mean if you see it you see it if you don't you don't like it's nothing really you know they really raised the bar with Ray back in the day with uh Jamie Foxx playing uh Ray Charles they raised the bar so high that when you see any of these autobiography type films man it's either you coming with it or you're not so there we go right there we pushed it to 720p that went through pretty fast. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five. We got five going, no problems. Make sure you pay attention to these sound icons. If one go away, you know that's it. So let's check back in with the system. And we done jumped up to six gigs of RAM being utilized. Not much with the CPU usage. Um, 32 watts for the GPU power. And it's getting up there with the gpu usage is definitely getting up there is bouncing around that's not really a good sign uh ups load we looking at 81 watts right now okay cool 70 to 81 is jumping all around so it's looking pretty good right now uh, i'm really concerned about the gpu usage that's not really a good sign right there so let's go to the next movie which is avengers infinity ward man oh my god i can't tell y'all how much i love this movie i know when i love a movie I know I love a movie when I watch it multiple times. Like I'll watch it once and then watch it another three, four times that week because that's when I really know I really love a movie. Thanos was crazy to me and I'm not even into this type of, you know, the Marvel world like that. I'm not really into it, but Thanos, crazy character, man. Gotta love it, man. Shout out to everybody that remember when Fortnite put the Thanos mode in there. That shit was crazy. So, all right, so Avengers is went ahead and transcoded. So let's check back in with the dashboard. And right now we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what's going on right there. All right. Okay, a little bit of information. Let's check back in with the system. So we jumped up to six gigs, 21% on the CPU usage. And this is hovering around 90. So they ain't really looking too good. So let's go ahead and get to the next one. And that will be Terminator Genesis. All right, Terminator Genesis. I wasn't mad at this one at all. Right now we got six going at the same time. So that's pretty good. So I really wasn't mad at this one at all. They really added to the series. Like I said, what we what needs to happen is someone got to say, someone got to do a comparison. What's the top five movie series? You know what I'm saying? Rocky, Terminator, Kill Bill. We gotta, you know, we gotta see, we gotta rank them. What's the top five? So let's go ahead and push it to 720p. It's been about 20 seconds. Let's push it to 720p and let's see what's going on. I definitely hear the fan kicking up on the GPU right now. I definitely hear a fan. It's not loud at all. It's definitely not loud. So that finally went through. Let's go check in with the dashboard. Remember, make sure you pay attention to the icons. If one of the volume icons go away, that means that we done hit our limit. So 
right now we got seven going at the same time that's pretty good i'm not gonna lie to you and we're jumping up high you already see what's going on here we're jumping up pretty high right now so cool you already see what's going on on the system so let's keep going let's see if we could push it even further seven is pretty good tell you honest truth i think that's on par with the a310 so let's push it to sisu sisu is a movie that people was telling me about none of them ever saw it they just told me to get it it's a new movie out i went and got it i still ain't watch it and the people that that told me about it ain't watch it yet neither so <laughs> it's definitely i still can't give you a review on this one but it was one of the movies i started off with so i gotta keep doing it i need to watch it so next the next video i, I uh talk about it i'm gonna have more information on it so i need to watch it because this whole time i still ain't check it out so i went ahead and push it to 720p let's see what's going on pushing p yes so it looked like it's about to go through okay okay this is pretty impressive so that went through so right now we got about eight going right now uh yeah i didn't see none of the icons go away yet the volume icons are still there so we got eight going right now wow okay so eight going at the moment let's keep going let's keep going until we can't go no more so now we're gonna go to ambulance i never really watched i, I did watch ambulance i'm tripping i didn't really like it i didn't really think it was good at all tell you it's true um it was just one of those movies oh sisu just buffered sisu buffered y'all yeah yeah sisu just buffered that's really about it right there sisu definitely just buffered so i'm gonna try to push this one through and let's see what happens let's see if it goes through but sisu definitely buffered y'all so that's definitely an issue right there and we already knew the what you know it was getting up there with the gpu usage when you get to that hundred percent and that 99 percent 100 percent gpu usage that's when you tapped out that's when it's a it's a wrap so is this going through because it's definitely taking a long time i think we got to throw in the towel and i'm pretty hold on so the sisu buffer we got one two three four five six seven eight yeah i think we got to throw in the towel because this still ain't transcode this ain't go through on the transcode we jumped up to seven gigs of ram being used yeah that's a wrap because that didn't go through and sisu buffered so there you have it guys you know what i mean um sisu definitely buffered i personally would say i personally will put this one let me see right here because that's definitely where it's at but they real hanging tall um i will personally see put this one at i will probably put it like around you know six or seven you know, I think the lucky number is probably six, to tell you honest truth. All right, so what separates this particular GPU and all the rest of the NVIDIA GPUs from all everything that Intel provides, whether it's CPUs and GPUs, is the fact that it has HDR tone mapping. If that's something that's very important to you, you might wanna consider picking up one of these because this is very inexpensive. You could get it for under $200. And if you buy it used, I'm pretty sure you could get it under $100. So if HDR tone mapping is something that's very important to you, this is a great addition to your Plex server build. And I would definitely go with this model over the other models because this is a single slot GPU. Even if you have an ATX, ATX motherboard, it's better to do a single slot so you don't, you know, cover up any other PCI slots you have. You can utilize that for something else. So that's why this particular one is important is very inexpensive feel free to compare my results on this one with the other one that i did which was the quadro a2000 i believe feel free to compare the two that's the reason i did these videos to that you can compare everything with each other and make an informed decision as you move forward with your plex server build now people ask me questions about you know why i don't put all the results in one video you know on a chart or something like that I'm planning on do that. I'm planning on doing that in my Plex server build. I'm gonna do a whole Plex server build and answer a lot of questions 
and put everything together like a, a guide to building a Plex server. And it's going to be in there. But for the time being, I'm just going to be testing them out. Now, please like, comment and subscribe because next week I'm going to be coming with the T1000, which is also a single slot card, but it has eight gigs of RAM when this one only has four. Now, I want to give a special shout out to everyone that appreciate these videos. I'm doing these videos because this is the type of information I wanted to see. And it blew my mind that it wasn't already out there on the Internet. So shout out to everybody that appreciate these videos. I really appreciate y'all comments when y'all leave them. And also shout out to the haters as well. Like I don't really understand how y'all could possibly have a problem with free information. But of course, y'all going to find a way to have it. An issue with it. So shout out to the haters as well, man. I appreciate y'all as well. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, my name is DeMarco Payne for Geek. Shh. And last but not least, I mean the good news be yours.